What is up guys? I am Cloaking Arbor, and this is Cloaking Arbor Figuring Toys Reviews. Today we will be looking at the 1962 King Kong vs. Godzilla, the NECA 62 Godzilla. Now off the bat, out of the gate, I gotta say he is one of my favorite favorite sculpts and is also from my favorite Godzilla films. I absolutely adore King Kong vs. Godzilla. It was one of my, I think it was my third Godzilla film growing up as a kid I watched uh, that got me hooked onto the franchise. I know that Godzilla vs. Mothra, Godzilla vs. Destroyer uh, were the two main ones that, that hooked me when I was a kid and I do remember that this one was a big, was a big, big uh, influence. Uh, you can see his box there. In the background right there for him that he came in. Uh, you can pick this guy up at Target. Again, a lot of the NECA figurines here are being sold at Target. Uh, sculpting is amazing, as you can see there. I love his 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 general look is so good. I felt NECA did a great job at catching that froggy derp that he has in the film. Uh, just did a great job at getting the derp. Yeah, jaw closes. He does come with a accessory, by the way. He comes with a fire breath effect that I have misplaced, unfortunately, somewhere. And I will find it here in a second. But, uh, yeah, he uh, it fits right there in his jaw. Oh, look, there it is. It fits right in there. As you see it right there, a hole in his jaw, which does well. Let me just pop this right in there. And you have... An Atomic Breath Godzilla. I will say, I love that NECA has been doing this with their figurines where they added this. When they first did the uh, 1954 uh, Godzilla, he didn't have a fire breath effect to him that I could remember. He just had uh, the... Uh, he, he was by himself, I do believe. I'd have to look at that again because I bought the figurine twice and I don't remember this ever coming with him. And when I rebought him, I got this with it. So that was pretty cool. But this is not... 54, this is 62. So, articulation. I really love his tail. Ball joints in the whole thing. And this is one of the best tails, in my opinion, for a Godzilla. I mean, I love this tail. I love the amount of energy that you can put behind him. Because his tail is always one of the biggest things in the film. That's always moving. It's always doing stuff. But you have great articulation with that tail. Range of motion. I really do enjoy that a lot. He turns at the waist, has a nice neck dip all the way down, looks up pretty well, arms, has nice articulation all the way around, elbow joint when it wants to work. He doesn't have a lot of articulation in his elbows, I mean, I mean what do you expect? But yeah, you do got some, so there you go, forgive the lighting. Uh, hands is great. I will say, though, I really do enjoy... Oh, they do turn. And they have this little hinge for the fingers. It just doesn't do a whole lot, but you got some movement with it. So I gotta say that uh, I love the chest. Zoom in on there a bit. Sculpt detail paint is amazing. NECA really hit it out of the ballpark with this figurine, I will say. They did a great, great job with him. To do some size comparisons now, unfortunately, in the future, and I plan to have it, is the uh, the Bandai Kong, the 6-inch Kong that will actually fit nicely with him. I really, really want to pick that guy up and get him on the shelf next to him. And fortunately, when I do, it's going to be a nice little diorama I hopefully get set up. Do some size comparisons. Let's put him next to the, we'll choose a NECA one off the bat. And I've used uh, other NECAs before. Most commonly my 2019. Let's try the 1964 Godzilla vs. Mothra NECA Godzilla here. So got another NECA. Oh my god. There you go. And so let's throw a quick another NECA up there just kind of the uh, the crazy out of the assortment. Let's throw Shin up there with him. So you can see. Nice, nice comparisons. And he does look great. As you can see between the 
differences of the figurines. He does a great job at holding his own and standing out on my shelf. I, I really, really, really like that, that each of my figurines respectively holds their own on the shelf. And that's one thing I do love about the NECA. They do a great job at, at making them really stand on their own. So when you look at them, you really do see the individuality between all their figurines. I love it. Let's throw a Bandai figurine up there, and you've seen him before, you've seen him again. It is the one, the only, my favorite guy to use for that tail and that size, Space Godzilla. This is a Bandai figurine, for those of you who collect the uh, the Bandai, uh, that vinyl plastic, soft plastic uh, figurines. And for a quick comparison, you'll see his tail move on the corner here. Blip. Let's throw King Caesar up there with him. If King Caesar will want to stand. There we go. You can see nice sizing. He does great on the shelf. He looks great on the shelf. If you guys don't have this particular uh, figurine, I, I, I recommend picking him up. He's a great, great one to have. Uh, Target, again, is where you can find him. Uh, my only thing is NECA. Please put out a respective Kong. I know the licensing service is an issue, but Lord of mercy, please put out a King Kong that goes with him. Give us a 62 Kong that goes with this guy. That would be so great to have a Kong that actually matches up with him. But, uh, yeah, there you go, guys. This is the NECA 1962 Godzilla. I do recommend you pick him up. Please like, subscribe, share, comment, and just overall, thank you all for your support. Um, please, please spread the word if you like what I'm doing. Uh, I, I want to get more and more of these done and give more and more out there to people and move past Godzilla too. I, I, have, I have quite a few figurines for Godzilla I want to do in the future, but I got some Halo stuff planned and some uh, AVP figurines planned in the future too. So please be on the lookout for those. But as of right now, I'm going to go through Godzilla and start knocking out all my figurines. But there you go. Thank you again, guys. I hope you enjoyed my review, and I hope he's one you want on your shelf. Thanks again. Later.